Welcome to Oriana's Glen. I am Old Man Oak, eldest of all the trees in the Whispering Forest. Have you read about Collingwood in your journal? If not, turn off the sound of my voice and read the journal, then return to me. Ah, I see by the light of knowledge shining in your eyes that you have learned what you need to know. Come, sit in the shade of my leaves as we wait for Oriana, the Oracle of the Forest and leader of the Forest Council, to join us. She is wise and lovely and as young as a summer's day. Ah, here she comes. How graceful she is, her dress floating like a white cloud around her, the wand of wisdom sparkling in her hand. Oh, wise one, the keepers of the crystals have come to help us in our time of need. I bid you welcome, my dearest friends and brave hearts. I am Oriana. I asked you to meet me here because I've had a terrible premonition that some evil threatens Collingwood. Place your hands upon your crystal pendants and see if you too can feel the danger. What's this? Who's thumping about in my branches? Out with you! Throw acorns at me? Don't you know it's only Pip? Aye, uh, you bit of mischief. I warned you forest sprites about dancing on my head. But, Old Man Oak, Pip is shaking worse than your leaves in a windstorm. Poor little Pip. What were you running from? Well, I was heading for the waterfall to have a swim, but I saw an ugly old hag with three big ogres following along behind her. Ogres? I knew I sensed something evil. I hid and watched, and the old hag turned into Lady Morphea. And she opened a little black jar and poured something into the water. Then, with the wave of her hand, she changed her three ogres into big toadstools. And off she ran. And that's not the worst of it. But Oak Hema Deer took a drink and turned into stone. Lady Morphea's potion has put a terrible spell upon the water. Who knows how many other creatures have been turned to stone since you left? Keepers of the crystals, we need your help to save Collingwood from the evil Lady Morphea. Leader, you must consult with the others and devise a plan that will make it safe to approach the waterfall. And watch out for those toadstools. They're really ogres. Each one of you should think how to use the powers of your crystal pendants to defend yourselves. Then the protector should sprinkle some of the magic crystal powder into the waterfall to make the water pure again. Use only a little. The powder is very strong. And don't drink it yourself or the magic will be lost. Once you have made the water safe, you, healer, can use your crystal of healing to heal the deer or any other creature that may need your help. And remember to bring the Wheel of Choices with you. Leader, choose a fantasy card before you leave and give it to the Protector to carry. Protector, don't forget to bring the jewel crystals and the magic mirror with you, too. Keepers, when you have finished your mission and the waterfall is safe again, the Protector should use the mirror to read the fantasy card, and all of you should carry out the task that the card gives you. Scribe, you should record in the journal everything the group sees and does. When you have fulfilled your tasks, return to us here in Oriana's Glen. Turn off the tape now. 